In this video, we are going to practice merging accounts. Now the exercise we're gonna follow along with is over here on the right side of my screen, and this is pulled from our basic level Pro Advisor certification course, which if you would like more information about that course after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link in the description. But let's dive into today's exercise and read through the scenario. You are doing some cleanup work for Craig and notice that he has both an accounting and a bookkeeper account that are the same account type and could be merged to save space. You have decided to combine these accounts into one account called accounting and bookkeeping. So what are the steps you need to take? Let's find out. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link in the description. I have the sample company here on the left side of my screen. Once you sign into it, you will come to this page. This is the dashboard. So let's go ahead and get started with the exercise. But first, a very important note here. This exercise is for demonstration purposes only. Accounting and bookkeeping do not necessarily need to be the same account. It all depends on what the business owner needs slash wants to see in their reports. So just know that merging these two accounts is not a hard, and uh, hard fast, and steady rule. Um, it is really up to your client. This is just so that we can use this as an example of how you would merge accounts um, here in this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is go to the chart of accounts. So from the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over transactions and then select chart of accounts. So the left navigation bar is over here. We want to hover over transactions, which is just a few down. And then um, from this drop down list, we want to select chart of accounts. Now, rather than trying to scroll through this entire list here, trying to find the account we are looking for, let's go ahead and do a search. In the filter by name or number field, we're going to start typing bookkeeper until that account shows up. So click into this search field right here, and then go ahead and start typing in bookkeeper. Once you do, you will see the one bookkeeper account show up for us. So let's go ahead and edit it by clicking on the down arrow next to run report and then selecting edit. That down arrow is on the far right side of that line. Go ahead and click that down arrow, select edit, and then you will get the account pop out showing here for us. And this is the information related to this account. So in the account name field, we want to change the name to accounting. So click into that account name field, delete bookkeeper and type in accounting. When you tab out over that, you will see in this preview window, it is now showing two accounts with the same name. So let's go ahead and click on the green save button. And as soon as you do that, QBO is going to ask you if you want to merge the accounts. Since that is what we are trying to accomplish here, let's go ahead and click on yes, merge accounts. That's this blue wording right here. And now you will see in this preview, it is showing you that there is only one account. So we need to save this one more time before we can actually change the name, even though it's just showing as accounting um, and it's showing that it just merged, we need to save this first and then go back and uh, uh, update the name. So click on the green save button on the bottom right corner of the screen. And you can see that the bookkeeper one um, has now uh, disappeared because it has now been merged. But let's go ahead and change the name of the account. Once again, rather than trying to do a search, um, uh, if we see all of the list of it, if rather than trying to do a search through the entire list, let's go ahead and do a filter um, by clicking into that same box, deleting bookkeeper, and then start typing accounting until that one shows up. So delete what is currently in there, that bookkeeping, and start typing in accounting. When you do, you will see the one accounting uh, account show up for us. Once again, we need to edit it so that we can change the name. We're going to click on a down arrow next to run report and then select edit. So the down arrow on the far right side of that line, click on that and then select edit. Now let's change the name of the account. So in the account name field, we're going to add the and bookkeeping so that it becomes accounting and bookkeeping. So click into that name field, do the and book 
keeping. I spelled that correctly, yep. And now everything else is gonna be left as is. So now we can go ahead and click on the green save button. It's on the bottom right corner of the screen. And you can see that the accounts have merged and that the new name has now been saved. And that's how you merge accounts. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to click on the link below in the description to get more information about that basic level pro advisor certification course. And I will see you in the next exercise.